What's going on guys? So again with the OBS, here we are again. The truck is running great. I mean as so far, but the thing is now the water pump blew, so we need a new water pump. But unfortunately I don't want to touch anything of touch anything on the truck yet because we have to move everything back. As in we gotta push the engine back, move the transmission back. Because we have a header leak right now, which it's it's the the header is, is hitting on some piece of the frame. Um we were just gonna bend it out, but then we found out that the dry shaft, the yoke, is just not very far in enough. So it's pretty dangerous right now to be driving as well. So solving the header leak, solving the yoke, uh, the dry shaft issue, we have to push everything back and we'll be good. Obviously the water pump, but I wanna do everything the right way, whereas in we're gonna put electrical fans, all that good stuff. Um, It's unfortunate, but just things like this happen on projects and like this, this project has been back to back issues this that it's just been a nightmare with this truck but we're gonna get her done we're gonna get her done get her running i mean like i said i really want to drive this truck and over there i don't know if you guys can see that is the new engine for the suburban go show you guys real quick but before i show you guys let's fire it up so you guys can hear the you can hear the header leak but we'll go to the back so you won't hear the header leak Over here. So update, update, guys. I don't think I was playing in the last video. I haven't posted in the YouTube video in a while, but so what happened was we were camping in the suburban. Yes, that's why I say everything. Everything takes time, patience. I have no patience, but if you don't have patience, things can go bad. Like. For example, my engine. I wasn't patient. I was buying all the parts, just wanted to get it done, wanted to hear the chop. But unfortunately, due to timing, it just everything messed up. Uh, on cylinder three, I believe it is, or four. Um, there's a pretty nasty gash on the wall. One of the heads dropped the valve. It just when it went bad, it went bad. So unfortunately. There's no saving the engine. I mean, you can save it, but I don't want to bore it out. And they're going to cut too much. And I want to be able to use the bourbon as daily. I just wanted to be a nice little chop. That was it. Obviously, it's going to give me a little bit more power, but that's. I just really wanted the chop. Noisy cam, no performance, because we got a big bourbon. That guy right there, you know, maybe we'll put some power to that guy later on. But for now, we just want to get be able to drive it. But. Here it is. There's rain in here in Tucson, but here it is, by three. So the plan is now, we are still gonna cam this one. We're gonna do the same thing we did to the last engine, but hope cross your fingers, everything goes well. That's the plan, guys. A little quick update on the, on the Suburban. And believe it or not, I'm more excited about my burp than this the, the blue truck, the OBS. Maybe because, you know, I like big wheels, has a system, has the HD conversion. Those who haven't seen it. That's her. Right now on 26s, which I kind of like the black, but the black and white looks pretty good. But I don't know. I kind of like the the chrome wheels on their back so you guys stay tuned we're gonna be doing we're gonna be taking the engine apart i went to phoenix for the engine hopefully the engine is good the guy told me you know only had 120,000 miles no issues at all i guess there was another suburban that was rear-ended and wrecked it so they took the engine transition transmission out but they sold the transmission so fingers crossed we open it up everything looks good because i really missed this thing and hopefully we get this thing running again you know but you gotta stay tuned. I'll keep posting um, updates and everything on TikTok about what's going on. 
But thank you guys for watching.